Okay, hello everybody, and uh, today we'll start with our um, very first video, um, and we'll talk about the conversion of units. And it's very important to understand how to convert from one unit to another unit in physics in order to be able to solve physics problems. So I will start with a few of the um, very known units that we need to know and one of them is uh, how to convert from kilogram to gram. So one kilogram equals to 1,000 grams. One meter equals to 100 centimeters. One centimeter equals to 10 millimeters. Now for the units of time that you need to know, we have one minute equals to 60 seconds, one hour equals to 60 minutes, and one hour equals to 60 times 60, that is 3,600 seconds. Uh, I'm pretty sure that most of you know how to do this kind of conversion. So today we'll just refresh our memory about how to convert from one unit into another unit. So I'll try to go with this sequence of problems and I'll start with the first problem that says how many grams in 200 kilograms? So 200 kilograms, I know one kilogram equals to 1,000 grams. So all I have to do is to multiply 200 times 1,000, that would be 200,000 or two times into the power five grams. Uh, question number two, how many hours in 120 minutes? So 120 minutes, I know one hour equals to 60 minutes. So one minute equals to one over 60 of an hour. So if I wanna convert from minutes to hours, then I need to divide by 60. So if you convert from hours to minutes, then multiply by 60. But if you do the opposite, if you go from minutes to hours, then please divide by 60. So 120 minutes equals to 120 divided by 60, that it would equal to two hours. And of course, all of us know that when 120 minutes pass, that is equivalent to two hours. Now let's look at the problem number three, how many seconds in five minutes? So I know that, okay, I have one minute equal to 60 seconds. So in five minutes, I have five times 60, that is 300 uh, seconds. Now let's look at number four. Now in number four, we wanna know how many kilometers per hour in 30 meters per second. So for example, if, if you call your friend and you ask him how fast you drive the car now, and he wants to trick you and he will say, I'm driving at 30 meters per second. Now you don't know if that is fast or slow because maybe you are more used to kilometers per hour than to meters per second. So you need to know how to convert from meters per second into kilometers per hour. So let's do the conversion. So I have 30 meters per second. I want to convert it into kilometers per hour. So to make life easy, I will just convert from meters to kilometers, then from second into hours. So let's start to do this. So I have the 30, and then I want to convert from meters to seconds. Then you need to divide by 1,000 to convert from meter, uh, I'm sorry, from meter to kilometers, not to seconds, right? So, so again, I want to convert from meters to kilometers, so I need to divide by 1,000. Then I need to convert from seconds into hours. Now to convert from seconds to hours, as you can see here from my conversions at the left, that one hour equals to 3,600 seconds. It means that if you go from hours to seconds, then you need to multiply by 3,600. 
But what if I want to go from seconds to hours, then I need to divide by 3,600. So here I divided by 3,600. But maybe you will tell me, no, you did not divide. You multiplied by 3,600. But look at this. Look at the second. The second is already at the bottom, at the denominator. So if I divide it, it will go to the top to the uh, numerator. So, so that's why I multiply by 3,600. Then use your calculator and you will find that the 30 meters per second are equivalent to 108 kilometers per hour, which is not very slow, not very fast. Maybe that is within the speed limit of most of the countries. Now look at the problem number five. It says how many kilometers per hour in 20 meters per minute. So that's pretty much the same as number four. So I have 20 meters per minute. So now I need to convert from meters to kilometers and from minutes into hours. So to convert from meters into kilometers, then you need to divide by 1000. Then to convert from minutes to hours, then I know that one hour equal to 60 minutes. So I need to divide. But again, because minute is already at the bottom, at the denominator, then I need now to multiply by 60. So the answer would be 1.2 kilometers per hour. Now let's see number six. Number six is pretty easy. It says that how many meters in 280 centimeters. That's, that's pretty easy, right? Because we know that one meter equals to 100 centimeters. So to convert from centimeter to meter, then you need to divide by the 100. So to be 280 divided by 100, that would be 2.80 meters. Very, very easy, but we need to know these kind of conversions in order to do uh, our uh, physics, um, uh, like any physics class. Now, let's look at number seven. It says that if a marathoner can run with an, an average speed of 10 kilometers per hour, how far could she run in 120 minutes? So imagine that we have a runner that runs at 10 kilometers per hour and she runs for, and she runs for uh, two hours because 120 minutes equals to uh, two hours. Now, if you guys remember uh, this very nice triangle that says that the velocity equals to distance over time. So V is a velocity, D is a distance, and T is a time. Now, I know the time is two hours. Now, why do I have to convert into hours? The reason is here we use hours, so I cannot multiply minutes by hours. So I have to multiply hours by hours. Then the D equals to V multiplied by T. Now the D is 10 kilometers per hour multiplied by two hours. That gives us 20 kilometers. So this runner was able to cover 20 kilometers in 120 minutes or two hours. Now let's look at the last problem here. It says how many meters in 56,100 uh, 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 56, uh, millimeters. Now I need to convert from um, uh, millimeter. I need to convert um, um, from millimeter uh, from meters to sorry from millimeters to meters. Now I know that one meter equals to 100 centimeters and one centimeter equals to um, 10 millimeters. So it means that to go, to go from meter to millimeter, I need to multiply by 1000. If I want to do the opposite, which means to go from millimeter to meter, then I need to divide by 1000. So to convert the 56, uh, 56,100 millimeters to meters, then you need to divide by 1000, which obviously is 56.1 uh, millimeter. 
So guys, you need to go to different, maybe um, 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 website that do these units conversion and start to convert from one unit into other unit because you need to know these basics in, in physics in order to be able to do other uh, physics uh, problems. Uh, so that's all for today for this uh, lecture and uh, I will see you uh, in uh, more uh, lectures um, uh, very, uh, very soon. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye.